We're going to take this cute little cat here and we're going to take it to the vet and he's going to get vaccinated. So uh, we need to put it on the scales and we need to weigh it. Now we can create a probability distribution for the weight of this cat. As you can see from this probability distribution, the probability that a cat weighs 2 kilograms is 25%. 3 kilograms, 0 0.15, 4, 0 0.4, and 5 kilograms, 0 0.2. So we can find an expected value for the weight of the cat by multiplying all of these, this times this, this times this, this times this, and adding them all together. So we get an expected value of 3.55 kilograms. On average, cats walking into this vet weigh 3.55 kilograms. Now, from that, we can calculate how much vaccine we're going to give this cat. So the rule for vaccinating cats is that for this particular vaccine, you give them three mils per kilogram that they weigh minus two milliliters. In other words, if we're going to write it um, algebraically, three X minus two. If a cat weighed 10 kilograms, you'd give them three times 10, which is 30 minus two, you'd give them 28 mils of vaccine. Now, if the average cat weighs 3.5 kilograms, what's the average amount of vaccine you give out? It's pretty straightforward. You substitute the average weight of a cat into this formula here. We substitute 3.55 into 3x minus 2. We get a value of 8.65. The average cat gets a vaccine of 8.65 milliliters. Now, we could have done that in a different way. Let's recreate this table right here. But this time I'm going to insert an extra row. Now, this cat weighs 2 kilograms, and there's a 25% probability that happens. This cat weighs 3 kilograms, and there's a 15% chance that happens. Now, if this cat weighs 2 kilograms, what vaccine would that cat receive? Well, we would just substitute it into this formula, 3x minus 2. Now, 3x minus 2, if I sub 2 into 3x minus 2, I'll get 3 times uh, 2, which is 6, minus 2, which is 4. This 4 represents the amount of vaccine that a 2 kilogram cat would receive. Now, this 3 kilogram cat would receive 3 times 3 minus 2, which is 7. A 4 kilogram cat would receive 10 mils of the vaccine, and a 5 kilogram cat would receive 13 mils of the vaccine. Now what I'm going to do is calculate the expected value, not of the weight of the cat, but the expected value of the vaccine that the cat receives. So this E 3x minus 2, it's the expected value of 3 times x, which is the weight, minus 2. And the whole thing, 3x minus 2, represents the amount of vaccine this cat's getting. Right, so we've got 4 times 0 0.25, 7 times 0 0.15 there, 10 times 0 0.4 there, and 13 times 0 0.2 there. Now, it should not be surprising to you to find out that the expected value of the amount of vaccine that we give out here is 8.65 when we do that calculation, which is the same as this one here. Now, this represents E 3x minus 2. What does this represent? Well, remember what we did in the beginning. We calculated the expected value, that is, we calculated E, X, but then that's E, X there. We multiplied E, X by 3, and then we added 2 on the end. And this is what this whole video is about. It's about the fact that E bracket 3X minus 2 is equal to 3E, X plus 2. Let's formalize that. So that's a very particular rule. The expected value of AX plus B is equal to A times the expected value of X plus B. That's just one of the properties of expected value. There are some others, but that's the only one I'm going to cover in this video. Uh, it's your job now to go away, find a couple of those questions, and practice.